A lot of Christians want you to retaliate based on your comments by what you say about God. But ultimately what it comes down to is just what you already know in him and just resting in him. That's it. But now they want to want to keep fighting you on doctrine. They want to keep throwing all these Bible verses at you. That's fine. Well, let them keep doing it. I'm not going to keep repeating what I've been saying in my previous videos because I, I don't want to be redundant. I hate being... If I'm going to be redundant, I want to do it with a purpose. And right now, there's no purpose in me doing it because it is all there. There are people that want you to think what they want you to think. They don't want you to just just relax and just go directly into God and experience your own personal journey with him. They want you to experience their personal journey with him and want you to to accept their version of what they know. Here's the big deal. We we are just so we're so wrapped up in ourselves in our own personal journeys with God that we can't accept the fact that other people have their own personal journeys with God and it leads them to their own courses to the same destination. We're all going to the same place. We are all in the same position. We all have the same attributes. We're just, we just want people to know what we know. So we're so angered on hammering our ide our ideologies on other people. Why is that the case? Well, I think primarily the reason is because of our physical upbringing. Because we have been abused so much physically, we want to be we want to, we kind of be on we want to be on the opposite side and be on the delegatory mode and just kind of hammer that to that way we've we've been physically hammered this side so we want to physically hammer that side we haven't experienced the heart of god in the spirit so we want to take what minimal information we have on this side and just use the same way that the earth the world has hammered us here to hammer it there and there is the problem The solution, go directly to him. Go directly to the Father, which is the solution to everything. I can't tell you any other solution to any problem you have than just go directly to the presence of the Father. Or to be more accurate, to divert your awareness to what you already have. We already have everything in him. The Bible affirms it. And I'm not going by what the Bible of what the Bible says because the Bible is not the law. Our truth in our experience in Him ultimately anchors our truth. The Bible simply should only only be an affirmation. When you come to that realization, it just hammers it home. Boom. There's the completion. Done. Complete. End of story.